In this video, I'm going to show you one important thing that you guys need to rank your website. And that video starts right now. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Chris Morgan here with bloghustlers.com and if this is your first time on the channel or viewing this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you guys don't miss any videos. Now, today in this video, I'm going to show you guys one important thing that you guys need to rank your website and it is Google Search Console. Now, you guys really need Google Search Console to set up your website and also to set it up for HTTPS, HTTP, www, and your domain name.com to generate traffic. By not doing that, you guys are missing the boat on all kinds of traffic. So let's jump over to the computer and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set that up. All right, guys, now we on Google. Now, what I want you guys to do before... We do anything is a couple things that you guys will need. First thing you guys will need an active working Google account. And the second thing that you guys will need is to access your hosting cPanel. In other words, gain access to your domain's DNS server. So this could be if you guys have like purchased a domain name through Namecheap and you left your, you pointed your domain, your, your domain's DNS towards, let's say towards uh, HostGator. <clears throat> so what you will have to do is go to your domain's DNS, which where you, where you purchase your, your domain name at. And you will have to access that, that panel and actually put everything in to, to get everything set up. In which I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need <clears throat> but um and for you guys that are not technically savvy i'm gonna show you guys um, the alternate way on how to do this inside wordpress but i recommend that you guys do it the first way i'm gonna show you because it works a whole lot better and also because if your if your website was to go down from from using wordpress let's say you you got a bug in your WordPress website and your WordPress website is down. That means <clears throat> all of that stuff that's in your WordPress website will go will be down as well and you can't track the traffic that you're getting, the clicks, you can't track you can't track anything. So with that being said, you guys will need to have um a domain name. So if you guys haven't watched that video on how to pick a domain name that stands out in the card right above make sure you click on that and go watch that video second thing you need is a active hosting account so if you guys have not set that up and also in the card above make sure you click and watch that video as well to learn how to set up your hosting account all right so with with all the uh, with all the formalities and everything out the way, let's go ahead and get started. So now we on Google. What I want you to do is type in Google Search Console. So for you guys that have not set this up, this is what you will see when you when you first uh, click into it. So you need to be logged in to see all of this. All right. So click on Google Search Console. You will see this. So click on the blue button. So, as you guys can see, I actually set it up, okay? But I set it up for a HTTPS. So, for you guys that do not have, <coughs> excuse me, for you guys that do not have a SSL certificate, there is another way that you can do it. But I recommend that you guys have an SSL certificate because it's like this little lock right here. That means it's a trusted website, and that also helps out your Google rankings as well. So that's real important. So I'm pretty sure you guys went to websites and seen it's like unsecured, and once you go to click on it, 
Google's giving you a warning or something like that. So it's kind of giving. I know when I first seen, it, I was like, okay, this might affect my computer, so I'm just gonna not go on that website. That's usually what it does. A SSL certificate is used to encrypt and protect your use. Well, your readers or people, other other people's information. So if they're putting in information as far as like credit card information, or you have an e-commerce website, or or someone's logging in by using their name, their email, and all that. Having an SSL certificate encrypts that information and protects you and it protects your users as well. So it's really important that you guys use that. Now with HostGator, HostGator gives you one free SSL certificate. So if you guys have not set up that hosting account, make sure you click and watch that video. I can't stress that enough. All right. So what you do from here, you guys will, will not see exactly what I'm seeing. So I'm going to click on, um, let me go here and click on HTTPS. So that was the very first one I set up. This was the second one I set up. Okay. So now as you guys can see, I'm not, I don't get a lot of traffic because I haven't really pushed any content out and reason for that. I haven't pushed any content out because I want to grow with you guys. I don't want it to be me, me, um, real big and me trying to tell you that something is real easy and cause I know exactly how it feels. Someone that's like getting over 2 million, um, 2 million visitors to their website a month. And they trying to tell you that doing this little trick is easy when it's really not. All right. So that's the reason for that. All right. So you guys will. We'll periodically come back in here and you guys will be able to see my traffic spike and grow and all of that. All right. So the way you do this is click on this top part right here and click on add property. So for you guys that do not have a SSL certificate, a SSL certificate is basically HTTPS. That means it's encrypted. If it's not HTTPS, it'll usually be HTTP. So, I recommend that you guys use this part. If you don't have a HTTPS, you still can use this part, but it'll be kind of hard. So for you guys that don't have a SSL certificate, use try to use, if you can't use this, use this. It's pretty much the same. All right, so what we're gonna do is type in HTTPS, W forward slash forward slash, and you can type this in. You can type in your domain dot com and you click enter. So it's going to give you some information. As you guys can see right here, it showed up green. I'm verified. I click done. So I'm, I'm going to show you the opposite way. So dot com and click on continue. Now it's going to give you some information just like this. Now what you would do see it's not going to work for me because i already did it on on the https side but what you would do is um log in to hostgator and it's cloud y'all so automatically keep a link just saved on my computer so i can get to something real quick so what you would do is copy this link right here just copy that link, come over, and this is what you want to go to, Advanced Zone Editor. So when you click on that, now you choose the domain name. And you right here, you choose in TXT, because that's the type of file that it's asking for right here, TST. Now, so from here, you type in, uh, your domain name so blog hustlers.com and 14400 and you paste that in right there and click add record so once you click add record see for me it's not going to work right now because I already did it 
I did it on I did it on this side so it wouldn't make any sense for me to do it on this side all right so from that point what you're gonna click that and come back over all right and then after you put that in you just click on All right, so after you did, after you click add record, you're gonna scroll down and you will actually see it. Uh, so let's go, let's see if we can find it. Cause I had it in here. All right, there you go, right there. So you, as you guys can see, it's right there. And so you'll come over and click that, you'll click verify. You click verify, but see for me it won't work because I already it's already done on one side. And then once you click on that, it's gonna pop up and you're gonna um you're gonna see a green a green check mark just like I seen. So I'm gonna hit this real quick. And all right, let's try this https. Um, and this is exactly what you'll see on the ship auto verified all right so what this what google search console does let's go back to this one <clears throat> it keeps track of your speed your mobile usability your site maps even the traffic that you're getting, how you doing day by day, whether if your pages are valid, like like this right here. So if you have errors on your page, it's gonna actually pop up and show you. And let's go to performance. So even though I I don't really I haven't really pushed the website or anything, this what it does on a daily basis it will actually show you. So if you click impressions, it will show you the impressions. You know, it'll actually show you all of this. So, where your rank is at. You know, for particular keywords. So, let's go. Reasons why you should start a blog. That was like, that's like the only blog post that I, that I got published. I have a whole lot that I have unpublished that I haven't published yet. But, you guys will see that grow. Now, I'm in position... 119 right here in position 133 all right so that's what it's showing me so as of right now i'm in position 126 all right so that's how you actually keep up with your rank so let's go like queries let's go to pages countries it show you where all your traffic is coming from even on devices search search appearance dates all it, it keeps track of all of this information all right so the second step so let's log into let me log into my website now this is the alternate method that I want to show you guys so now we let's come back and Click on this and add in www.blogbookwave.com. Okay. All right. So right here. All right. So it's going to give me all of that. So I'm going to copy that. Come back over to WordPress. Now, what I'm going to do is type in look for a plugin. I'm going to click add new plugin. And I'm going to look for a plugin, insert headers and footers. Insert headers right here. I'm going to look for this plugin right here. Click install. All right, and click activate. Now, in my opinion, by far, the first method is 
the most easiest. But for you guys that really don't see that as being easy, this is another alternate method that you guys can use. All right, so what we're going to do, where is it? All right, let's go over to appearance. Um, settings. Here we go. In settings, insert headers and footers. Now, it's important that you guys put it in here. So what you do, paste that in, save, and come back over. Oh, and by, and also guys, if you guys want to read up on this, I will have this link in the description below. So if you guys have any, any problems, feel free to shoot me a comment. And I always um, look forward to you guys' comments. I really want to help you guys. I want to help you guys, help you grow your websites and generate enormous amounts of traffic. So feel free to comment. All right, so now let's go over to click verify, which, as I stated before, I already done it. So that's why it's doing that. So after you um after you did all this and this is exactly how it be i mean it, it actually it will pull all all the information in and so you really won't be getting the same error that i'm getting so just pop that in click save you're done all right guys and it is simple as that so that is one of the most important things that you guys do not want to miss out on. That is, instead of going to Google, just searching on page one, page two, page three, page four, and all of that, just steady in all these, these keyword thing, these keyword platforms or something like that, just searching what your true rank is. Google Search Console is the most important thing. It keeps up with how your website is doing for one and it also keeps up with your speed that is real important and it keeps up with how google spiders are crawling your website and it keeps up with any errors that you guys are having so it's real important that you guys set that up and also the links in, will be in the description below so if you guys have any comments please let me know in the comment section below and also guys um and also, if you guys are in search of anything that you guys want to learn, feel free to shoot me a comment, leave a, leave a comment, and I'll be sure to, I'll be looking, and I'll be sure to um, respond to your comments with a video, of course, to help you guys grow your blogging business. So, guys, if you guys are um, looking for more videos, you see those, those videos right beside me. Make sure you click on those videos and also guys make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So that's it for this video. As always, like I say in each and every video, take care, stay blessed, peace.